What is going on guys? My name is Baroner Developer B and welcome back to episode 16 of the Bucky Coding Tutorial series. And in this episode, I'm going to teach you guys about unique IDs and this won't be a very long episode. I'm just going to quickly go over it and implement it in the ba the bad player plugin that we made yesterday. So pretty much what a unique ID is is it uniquely identifies the player from their name changes that you can have now as they added them in February of last year, I believe, or the year before that, I don't quite remember, but you can change your name and the unique ID keeps the players the same. So if you ban a player, then throughout their name changes, they will still be banned because you can use their unique ID. And I will show you what that means more in depth right now when we implement this into the, the bad player plugin. So what exactly is going on right now is we're just saving their name and we know the players through their name so if the player joins with their name and they're banned then it'll ban them but if they change their name and they join the server then they will not be banned because we're only going by their name and if we go by their unique id their unique id stays the same no matter what even through name changes so that is what we should use for a ban player kind of plugin. So let's go ahead and go through and change these two unique IDs. And it's really, really simple. All you have to do is remove get name and just type get unique ID dot to string. And that will allow you to save their unique ID. So I'm in the band class right now, the band command class, we are just saving their unique ID to the config just like that. And now whenever we ban a player, it's going to save their unique ID to the config, but we're not done there. We have to go to the player join because remember we were handling these unique IDs in here. So we have to go right here and change this get name to get unique ID. And we have to go through this whole message and say it too. So if section dot equals that, then we can identify the player through their unique ID. And if we go over here, we need to say get unique ID dot to string and get unique ID dot to string. And now we are good to go. So that is all we had to change. And now whenever we ban players, it's going to be through their unique ID and not their name. So let's go ahead and build this bad player build. And let's go ahead and get in game with this. So we can go ahead and reload. And if we go ahead and ban ourselves, like we did in the last episode, we can just say ban developer B for sucking at coding, then it will ban us. And it says you have been banned from the server by developer B, reason sucking at coding. And we can go in this folder right here. And we're not gonna notice any major changes by like joining, like we, will, we won't know that it's using the unique ID, but on the back end of things inside of the config, you will notice a difference. So if we go in here, as you can see, there is our unique ID right there. And we are banning that unique ID. So if I were to change my name from developer B to like developer A or something, then this unique ID would stay the same and they would stay banned rather than being able to join the server as developer A. So thank you guys for watching. That was a quick little episode on unique IDs and explaining them. And I will be using them from now on if we have to do a type of tutorial like this. Someone pointed it out in the comments that I thought I would address it to the learners of Bucket. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in episode 17.